While a Russian resupply ship failed to reach the ISS, you might have missed evidence of quantum electrodynamics, the Pooh Challenge for space bands, and art aboard the ISS. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we are rewarding our patient space nerds with an all space show. <laughs> but don't worry, the ISS won't need new supplies to 3D print, hashtag laugh, the first sculpture created in space. It's going up now. Hey, it's just making a sculpture in space. It's not that hard. On to a more pressing space problem, the poo kind. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. NASA has been putting astronauts in spacesuits on the regular since the 1960s, and guess what? Normally, our heroes are wearing diapers inside them, even Neil. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Diapers are not going to cut it on the trip to Mars, though. So that's why NASA and Hero X have a very special request about the bathroom inside the suit. How is this waste treated such that it does not harm the astronaut or even kill them? This is the problem we are asking you to help us with. They are crowdsourcing a solution to deal with up to six days of urine, blood, or poo. This is a serious problem, and NASA is treating it as such, even though it's not so glamorous. Researchers from the Italian National Institute for Astrophysics just discovered evidence that the void may actually be filled with virtual particles. These are fluctuations of magnetic fields that can affect how light travels through space. According to the theory of quantum electrodynamics, or QED, these particles pop in and out of existence all the time, kind of like the time machine in Timeless, but tiny. Scientists predicted this phenomenon nearly a century ago, but just now the Italian team believes they have confirmed it. They found that the light emitted from a distant neutron star is being literally polarized by the star's magnetic field, which means that these virtual particles were changing the light's path. So QED may be valid. And yes, I had to ask my very own physicist to confirm everything I just said. And finally, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The Internet Archive is pressing Control c to make a duplicate self in Canada. Apple is reportedly trying to improve its Maps app by using drones. Twitter Moments can now be made on your mobile device. The FDA approved a new trial using MDMA to treat PTSD. And Netflix announced that it is finally adding offline playback. No more illegal hijinks to download shows for the win.